My name is Isabel Gallegos. I'm a junior at Stanford University studying computer science. My mom is from the Philippines and my dad is Latino from New Mexico. I think that I've been very fortunate in that my parents have provided me with a lot of opportunities that have allowed me to go to college and study what I'm interested in. But I think that I have faced some challenges just occupying a space in technology as a woman and a Latina. Um, I think the biggest challenge that I face is just finding a sense of belonging in STEM and kind of struggling with this feeling of imposter syndrome sometimes. I think that I've experienced this in almost every technical space that I've been in, whether that's like in my classes or internships. And I think that there have been moments when maybe I've started to doubt myself and that feeling has really been heightened for me when I look around and I'm maybe the only woman or one of the only Latinas or Latinos. And so I think just struggling with those feelings of lack of confidence and feeling like I don't belong in that space has probably been the biggest challenge for me in technology. Um, in terms of ways that I've been able to overcome this, I think that first and foremost, it has just been finding people who I feel like support me. For me, this has really at school come in the form of just finding peers. So at school, I'm part of the Society of Latinx Engineers and the Women in Computer Science Organization. And through those, I've been able to find people who understand maybe some of these feelings that I'm experiencing or they understand my background or where I'm coming from. And that has been really key for me feeling like I'm supported at school. Another way that I think that I've been able to overcome this is through the help of mentors and role models. I think I've been really fortunate and I've had lots of like mentors who have really had my back and supported me. And I think that having somebody else believe in me when maybe I don't really believe in myself has made a huge impact on helping me to keep going in these times when maybe I'm experiencing these moments of self-doubt or lack of confidence. And so I think that that sense of belonging has been my biggest challenge um, kind of throughout my journey in technology, but finding the right people who have my back has made the biggest difference for me. As I mentioned at the start, I was a high tech scholarship recipient in 2019 and 2020. And so the start of my kind of journey with high tech began in the spring of 2019. And since then, high tech has done so, so much for me. Um, I feel like I've just received so much support from them in so many different ways. So first with the scholarship, that has definitely had a really big impact on me. I think any financial support for college makes a really big difference. And I think it takes a lot of pressure off of the financial side and allows me to focus more on my school and my academics. And so that alone has made a really big impact on me. Um, another aspect that high tech has really impacted me is the mentorship aspect. So through the mentorship program, I've been paired with a mentor from Microsoft who has really given me a lot of guidance in terms of um, not only next steps in terms of like my career and my academic journey, but also just advice about life and how to make sure that I'm able to find opportunities that align with my values and my interests. And that has been huge for me. Um, another aspect of mentorship is that there have been people from high tech who have just reached out to me, even just informally, and have just offered their support. So one specific example of this is Patricia Rios from, I think she's on the High Tech Foundation Board. So she reached out to me and um, ever since this summer, we've been meeting pretty regularly and she has just shown so much care for my success and my career and my academic journey. And I think just knowing that I have somebody who always seems like she has my back and who has helped me build my network, that has had a huge impact on me. And so it's just people like that who really are willing to just give their time to me and some of the other scholars. That has been really, really helpful for me. I think though the biggest impact that high tech has had on me has been through the summits. So I was able to attend the High Tech Leadership Summit in the summer of 2019. 
And then I attended the high tech gala in the fall of 2019. And these were honestly some of the most inspiring experiences, honestly, of my entire life. Um, I never have been in a room with so many people who I felt like I could just look up to and who genuinely seemed like they supported me, even people I had never even met in my life before. And I just felt like everybody in that room was there to support me and everybody else around them. Um, I think for me, it has been really daunting sometimes to enter these spaces when I don't see a lot of people who can relate to my experiences or people who look like me or people who come from where I come from. And when I'm able to see so many people who can just be role models to me, I think that I never had experienced something like that in my life before. Um, I feel like sometimes I don't realize that that is missing um, until I actually saw it. And it was just overwhelming the amount of support I felt. Um, it really felt like in those moments that I can, I can still remember like the exact feelings that I was feeling um, at the summit and the gala. It really felt like I had the support and the resources to really make my dreams and my goals come true. Um, like it felt the most real in that moment that I would be able to achieve these goals. Um, and I think those moments were so inspiring to me that even now when I'm ever struggling with these moments of doubt or I am maybe like looking around and I don't see other people who I really can look up to, I really go back to those moments. And those really, <laughs> I really cannot put into words how much that meant to me and how inspiring that was just to see so many successful people who were really willing to just offer their support to, to all of us there. Um, and so honestly, I think that the biggest impact that high tech has had on me has been the people. There are so many people that I can name that maybe I've only interacted with them for even just a couple of minutes, but I still can remember so many of those interactions. Um, because it honestly, it really does feel like a really big like family to me. And I just think that there's no words I can like say that, that truly express how important that is to feel like I have so many people behind me and who are supporting me. Uh, my name is Jimena uh, and I graduated uh, of May of 2020 uh, from uh, GW and I majored in integrated systems and technology. Um, and I am of Peruvian nationality. And I had the honor of being a 2019 uh, high tech scholar. I would say that high tech has given me such a huge burst of like motivation. Um, when I first came into the um, I believe it was a 2019 Leadership Summit in, in the summer uh, that was held in McLean. That was the first time ever that I had come in contact with Latino or Latinx leaders. And that was really inspiring for me, given that I've never been in contact with a uh, you know, Latino uh, director or vice president. That was like so, I was just so mind blown, inspired. I was like, wow, like I want to be you. Um, and I felt that um, there's, they also want to help me. And um, that was probably um, the best experience I've had. Um, leaders have reached out to me and we just talked and shared their stories. Um, even after the leadership conference, they scheduled calls with me so they can talk. And um, it really felt like a familia. Um, so the 2019 Summer Leadership uh, Summit was an experience that I will forever shares in, uh, in my life and my career. Um, it has, um, in addition, I guess a cherry on top would be um, the gift that we received from Bank of America. Totally unexpected. We, we received um, a little MacBook as a gift, but this also shows how committed people are um, about breaking the digital divide uh, by giving people access to technology, which is what we need to thrive and continue learning. Um, and just after meeting a huge amount of leaders um, that I've also connected with on LinkedIn, um, it's really good to see how they're doing, how what big things they're up to. And um, 
uh, again, it just keeps me motivated. Um, it was an honor to be a high tech scholar. High tech has changed my outlook in life. Um, I'm no longer like doubt myself as much. That's one of the challenges that I've overcome. Um, I'm no longer, I guess, um, I would say, I was a little bit ashamed of like, you know, how smart I was. I had like the imposter syndrome and people at the conference spoke to me about it. It was very common for me to go through. And um, it's something that, again, I struggle with sometimes, but that conference and just meeting leaders uh, was just such an amazing experience. And um, no matter what, now I worked hard. I took every opportunity possible. I'm happy to have found high tech. And again, I'm just so grateful to have um, been chosen as a scholar. Hi, my name is Annalise Segarra. I am a freshman at Marquette University. I am studying cognitive science with a double minor in neuroscience and Spanish for the professions, and I am Mexican and Puerto Rican. The biggest um, impact that the high tech community has had on me is the fact that I was able to find my voice with um, my mentor. She was she kind of grew up similar to, similarly how I did. She was one of the only Latinas in her STEM classes and her program really. And I was really able to find my voice through her and how she was able to um, pursue a career in technology and how she was able to be comfortable being the only and being the minority. And I was very, I'm so blessed to be able to ha have spoken with her and um, be impacted by her. And um, another big uh, aspect of the high tech scholarship is the scholarship. and being able to pursue my dreams at Marquette University, being able to um, sufficiently be able to attend the classes that I want to and be able to be a part of the core honors program and the part of the different programs that Marquette does have, have to offer. And I was never really able to attend any of the summits yet, but I'm excited to attend them in the future. Hello everyone, my name is Katy Reyes Hernandez. I am a junior at Northeastern Illinois University. My major is computer science and my minor is psychology. I am a current uh, high-tech scholar and I was born in Mexico. Uh, thanks to the High Tech Foundation, I have been fortunate enough to be provided with additional resources. Um, I have been able to attend high tech summits where I've been able to interact with other um, professionals in, in, the technolo in the technology field. Um, and I've also been able to uh, attend events where I've learned more about companies like Johnson & Johnson, Microsoft, and I've seen more representation of Latinos in technology through those uh, events. Um, and I've been able to just learn more about these companies um, and it's more of an intimate experience than um, other panels that I've attended. Uh, so this has been a, a really rewarding experience. Hola, me llamo Gabi. I am a second year at the University of Chicago studying computer science and mi familia es de Argentina. I think the biggest challenge for me has been just the assumptions people make when they see me and they see my name and having to really overcome that. Um, I mean, like computer science classrooms are kind of known for having pretty terrible gender dynamics. Um, like I'm in a class right now where one in every eight students is not a man. Um, and just reminding myself that I have a right to be there just as much as everyone else does and that I am just as capable as everyone else, if not more, uh, is the biggest thing that I've been learning to do. And having the support of a community like high tech has been incredibly helpful in that. The high tech foundation has just the opportunities through it, not just the scholarship, but um, meeting with my mentor and um, attending the high tech summer summit um, was just incredible. Um, and I mean, I'm so grateful for the gift as well. Having a laptop that just works very, 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 very well and so just top of the line has been really, really helpful, especially now in my computer science classes where some of my classmates are having some issues with slower computers and I am not. 
Um, the, so the scholarship has been really just helping me support me in my education because the University of Chicago is not exactly a cheap school to attend um, and anything helps. Uh, and meeting with my mentor has just been so helpful to have an example of someone in the field um, who has been extremely successful for a very long time um, to kind of show me some guidance because I'm still pretty early on in my education and I'm still kind of figuring out what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go. Hi, my name is Jennifer Lagardo and I'm attending Stanford University. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering and I'm a junior and I'm a Mexican-American. I think one of the greatest things about receiving the high tech is the connections and the summit itself because I found myself meeting a lot of people that had similar stories to me and it's kind of motivating, especially when you go to internships or you go to the workforce and there's not that many people who can resonate with you or relate to your experiences, but you go to conferences like high tech and you find yourself with like a lot of inspiration and a lot of motivation and it's kind of too, I feel like it gives you that confidence that you know what I feel like I'm in the right space I know I can do it if these people are just as amazing I can get there and in terms of the financial aid I've been able to purchase some online programs so I now I have my own version of like Fusion 360 and SolidWorks and so now um, before I would have to enroll in a class to get access to those programs but now I have it so in the summer I could like design my own things and get creative and yeah, in terms of my advisor or kind of, or my mentor, he's been very helpful and he's also been very insightful for like internship tips. And yeah, so overall high tech has really helped me and shaped kind of my outlook. And also, as I mentioned before, when I was feeling like kind of the imposter syndrome, I feel like how high tech helps you say that, you know what, if you got this, you're in a good place and you're doing the right thing and just it just motivates you to push yourself and do more things and really makes you want to cha change the world. Hi, I'm Sophia Mojica and I'm a freshman at the University of Wisconsin Platteville. My major is electrical engineering and I am a proud Mexican. So the High Tech Foundation has had a great impact on me. Um, so first I'd like to talk about the scholarship. The scholarship has meant a lot to me that really has helped me um, be where I am today. Um, so I am very grateful for that. So that has really impacted me the most. And then I guess the mentorship, I'm really excited to see where that goes and the guidance that I will receive um, from my mentor. I know that the High Tech Foundation has a great reputation for what they do. And so I feel like it's like a support system that I have and I know that the foundation is here to support me and believes in me and that I have a chance of making it through um, college and doing something um, positive with my degree. Hi, my name is Alejandro Rodriguez. I'm a sophomore at Johns Hopkins University studying computer science and computer engineering and I'm a Perucho, so I'm from Peru. So I would say the biggest challenge I've overcome was finding my identity and who I am. Um, especially in these polarizing times, we face a lot of doubt centered towards our community. Um, and unfortunately, during my high school years, this was something that weighed heavy on me and something that really affected me. And so through the time I was able to find myself, find my identity and be proud of who I am and find my self-worth. As a student, I should be only concerned about my grades and the courses I'm taking. I shouldn't have to worry about what sacrifices I'm gonna have to make in order to pay for school. And so this scholarship helped me get on that track just a little bit more. The High Tech Foundation has been a real blessing to me. The scholarship took away my worries about how I would pay for school and the mentorship program is shaping me up to be a better person and job candidate. I'm excited to see how much the High Tech Foundation is gonna help me grow throughout this year. Hi, I'm Stephanie Enriquez-Isais. I'm a computer science major at Occidental College. 
I'm a sophomore and I'm Mexican. So the High Tech Foundation has definitely helped me out a lot because at first I honestly applied to it because it was a scholarship and I don't want to have debt when I graduate. But as I got more into it, it provides so many different ways of helping someone like financially, thanks to that, I don't really have to worry about like the financial side of college. And even with work city, I don't have to work somewhere where I don't enjoy it because it pays for college. I get to work somewhere where I'm a designer for our school's like design service. And it's something that's giving me hands on experience and something that I want to pursue on like when I'm out of college. So I'm definitely very thankful for that. Um, Another thing that I really like about the High Tech Foundation is the mentorship program. Um, I met my mentor like a couple months ago and he's been, you know, we don't meet like every week or whatever, but even just knowing somebody who is Hispanic and who has struggled and to see them be successful and be something that I want to be someday is very empowering and it's very useful because a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago, it was midterm season and of course it gets a little bit rough and you get a little bit like of imposter syndrome and so many different things so just to have somebody to talk to who has been through the same things and has overcome it is very helpful um so the bank of america gift was also something that really helped me because as a computer science major i want to get into mobile development development but because i prefer windows computers I decided to get that and I was thinking like okay I'm gonna have to save up to buy a MacBook just so that I can like start learning the like specific language for iOS development and just to like when I received the gift I kind of felt like it was a sign to like pursue that more because I was given this opportunity to like be able to learn the language and use it and yeah. Hello High Tech Familia my name is Jesse Cortez and I'm the Vice President of Executive Talent at McKesson. I also have the unique pleasure of serving on both the High Tech Board as well as the High Tech Foundation Board. I know we find ourselves in a unique situation of what's going on around the world, but today I wanna to focus on our Hispanic students and the needs that they are experiencing today more than ever. And this is where the foundation really steps in, but we can't do it alone. And we know that with your help and your support, we can continue to push up and pull up our Hispanic youth and generate this next generation of leaders. So I'm here today to share where we've been and what we've been up to. You know, the High Tech Foundation Scholarship Program has been around for a few years now, starting in uh, 2017. We've already awarded almost half a million dollars in scholarships to more than 70 scholars. In 2020 alone, that cohort consisted of 35 students 30 of which were in the undergraduate ranks and five as graduate students. Now we're also proud of the gender ratio that 71% of those students were female. Now we're getting ready to launch in mid-December that next cycle for the 2021-2022 high-tech high scholarship. I'm also here to thank Bank of America for their annual gift. You know, in 2019, they donated MacBook Pros to those students and, in, and this year, they also donated $1,000 Visa gift cards. Now, as we continue to connect that pipeline, we've looked at mentorship programs, and I wanna thank the contributions of that core team in Ernie Cordova, Melanie, Sheila Downer, Isabel Estevez, and Sean Boyle for successfully launching the Hispanic Foundation Mentorship Program. Now, the program connects our scholars with technology professionals who are already in the industry many of whom are EEP fellows, so that they can mentor them through their collegiate years. Now, the goal of this program is to help inspire and develop those mentees while addressing their goals through a more holistic approach. Beyond the mentorship program, we've also established an internship program, and it aims to serve as a feeder to the already established corporate partners internship programs that they already have in place. Now, We've also enjoyed the opportunity of hosting a couple of information sessions, one through Microsoft, the other through uh, Johnson & Johnson, that was delivered exclusively to the, uh, the high-tech scholars themselves. Now, we know our work isn't done. 
but I hope you feel just as much pride as I do in the work that has already been done. However, we know there's more to do, and we want you and urge you to consider your support and joining us in our mission with this purpose of being able to lift our community, our Hispanic leaders, our future leaders, and scholars through the foundation. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the event.